Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine on this Sunday morning. So let's start with the Bitcoin price and let's stay focused today on Bitcoin. So right now we are seeing in the one hour time frame, in the lower time frame, a possible retest of this new resistance here at around $11,700. We also yesterday announced that there could be a little bounce to the upside here we had a buy signal we went all the long but currently of course we got stopped out also because here in the one hour we formed this bearish rising wedge which currently is breaking out to the downside and the target in theory is down here at around eleven thousand four hundred dollar so here in the one hour it is still looking quite bearish and i still think we will have continuation to the downside here even though it looks like that we could go up here to retest also this eleven thousand seven hundred dollar once more and also keep in mind that we close the cmes on friday at eleven thousand six hundred dollar so most likely we're gonna stay in this area here till the cmes are gonna start to trade again on the monday so i don't think that we will see big moves here during the next couple of hours but if we are gonna see maybe a move then most likely to the downside because here in the one hour it looks like that we are breaking now out from this rising wedge and the target is at least towards here this eleven thousand four hundred dollar you can also see that the rsi currently starting to trade below the 50 level and if we have a look into the bollinger band you can see that we are trading in the lower part we're even overshooting into the downside stochastic is coming down to oversold condition but we just had a bearish cross in the macd so also here we have some room left to the downside so i'm still expecting the price to go towards this eleven thousand four hundred dollar in the next couple of hours i'm not taking a trade right now even though if we go over into the four hour you can see that currently we're getting here squeezed between the 20 and 200 moving average most likely and also i got right now a sell signal even though it is not a very relevant sell signal because when i'm getting these sell signals in my own indicator i want the price to be overbought and not down here into oversold condition so i'm not taking this short right now i maybe wait here for another confirmation that we have right now eleven thousand seven hundred dollar as a resistance or at least if we're able to bring the rsi back again here at around the 50 level then maybe it is a good time to go short but currently we are still trading above the 200 moving average in the four hour so the four hour even though it could go down the price we are not completely bearish here so we still have some hope left that we could come back up here again towards twelve thousand dollar as long as we are keeping up with the moving averages here but since we're squeezing right now between the 20 moving average and the 200 i think we will stay most likely in this trading range here between eleven thousand six hundred fifty and eleven thousand two hundred dollar the rsi currently is trading below the 50 level and if we have a look into the bollinger band you can see that also here we are trading in the lower part so currently we are even trading below the first moving average here so here also the bottom is at 11,440 and that's why I also think that it is very likely that we will see this price level down here again pretty soon in the stochastic we also had here a bearish cross MACD is still flat here so I think there could be a possible bounce from it if we are coming down to this price range that maybe afterwards we're gonna go up to retest this 12k area but it's not yet confirmed at the moment it looks like that we're gonna stay here between 11,670 and also 11,200 dollar and now let's have a look also into the daily time frame because currently we are still right at the 20 daily moving average and i think the more we're gonna stay in this area here the more likely it is that we're gonna fall down towards our next bearish target of around ten thousand five hundred dollar and then maybe continue the dump towards our last bearish target here of around nine thousand six hundred dollar where also the cme gap is lining up and although you can see that in the bigger picture here we had a sell signal when we came up here towards 12k and uh, the rsi is cooling off now completely to the 50 level so if we are not seeing a bounce right now from this level here again towards this uh, resistance up here at twelve thousand five hundred dollar and also take out this high then this correction that we're waiting now for so long is coming 
pretty soon. So I think this would be the ultimate confirmation that right now we're coming down to retest these levels down here. And if we switch over into the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that currently we are trading still here in the lower part, even with this pump that we have seen now towards 11,700, we are still struggling here to break through the first moving average. So here also in theory, since we're getting rejected now, the target is down here at around 11,280, so always at around 11,000. $1,400 and there may be see a possible bounce again to the upside. If we're going to overshoot it to the downside, if we're going lower than 11280 then most likely we're going to reach the $10,500 level. We have stochastic shifted to the downside, it's getting oversold, MACD also still shifted to the downside. So if we are not seeing a bounce here between 11280 and $11,400, if we're coming down there, then this could be the beginning of the major correction, even down down towards $9,600. And now let's go over to the weekly because also here you can see the 20 weekly, which is right here at our target of $9,600. RSI was overbought, which is now also cooling off a bit. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band also here, as I told you in many videos already, this was looking like it wants to correct down towards the moving averages since we were overshooting it for a couple of weeks, the Bollinger Band. And the target here is between the two moving averages here of $10,300 and $9,400. So exactly where our bearish targets are in case of a major correction. And this is also the area where I would start to buy back in into Bitcoin if you took out the profits here and also into some altcoins if you plan to buy some altcoin. You can also see that the stochastic had a bearish cross. So it is possible that we will see this bigger correction coming soon. MACD is also looking toppy, but here we didn't have a bearish cross in the MACD. So here we're still shifted to the upside. And remember guys, if you want to get these sell and buy signals from my own indicator, make sure to subscribe here to the channel, Alessandro the Crypto, also over on Twitch, and you're also very welcome to join our free Discord trading chat. You find the link down below here. And if you want to trade, for example, here on Bybit, where you can trade all the cryptos that you want, and even if you want to trade gold or oil, for example, you can do that on many of these exchanges that I recommend you. You find all the sign-up links down below here in the video description with my links. You can get up to $428 in bonus. So definitely go and sign up with the links that you find down below here in the video description. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Moon up the like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.